Hi my little shardies, welcome and welcome back. This is Christina with R Online. Today I have a really big haul for you. The fewest amount of things that I purchased this month are books. So I'm going to start with those. I only have five here and I've just got a ton of stuff to show you guys today. So I'm super excited about those things, but I'll get started with these. Fragile Worlds is not out in the United States yet. It is only out in Europe. I have Fragile World pre-ordered on Amazon right now and it will come out in the United States in March but I didn't want to wait for mine so I went ahead and ordered this off of I think it was book depository and it was only $14 and change and free shipping so I was able to get this like a month and a half earlier than if I had waited for the US copy I will have a flip through on my channels I did already start a picture and I'll show you that in a second I do want to tell you that the paper in this book is thinner than his other books, particularly Worlds Within Worlds. So I don't know if it's because of the publisher, because it's a UK copy, or what. So I'll find out when the US copy comes in, uh, if the paper is the same or different. So this is just going to be a quick flip through of this book. Again, I'll have a full flip through on my channel. And basically this book is about endangered animals in their natural habitats. I love this book. I heard it so much. I love Kirby to begin with, but I love the cause for this book. I love the designs in it. I'll be coloring a lot in this book in my upcoming videos. It's one I had started. I haven't done the background in it yet, but those are lemur frogs. All right, and that is Fragile World by Kirby Rosas. The next book is Colorage Wild 2. This one has been on my wish list for a long time. All the Colorage Wild have been, but I wasn't able to get them off of Amazon and I didn't want to pay an extra $15 to $20 on top of the price of the book to have it shipped with any of the Etsy sellers. This book just came back out on Amazon. I went ahead and ordered it. I did order another of the Colorage Wild books, but it won't be in for a couple weeks, so it'll be in my next craft haul video. I love his books so much. I love his images. They're very simplistic and the fact that there's not a lot going on in the page. So they're great to practice skin tones in. The paper is so thick in these books. So you can probably use just about any kind of medium you want. Sorry, do it like that. You can probably use just about any kind of medium you want to use in this book. And it's just adorable. And I'm going to use it to practice my skin tones with my alcohol markers, just to play around with some of my new color pencils, see how they, they work. So Stunning Book, Colorage Wild 2. I think I might have got three. I'm not sure. I got one of the other ones. There's four out in the series. So I'll have two of them. The next book is My Amazing Garden. Okay, the artists in the book, some of them I cannot pronounce. So I'm just going to hold it up like that. All right, and I'm going to do a quick flip through. Again, there'll be a full flip through on my channel. The paper is a little thin in this book, but I don't mind. I'm going to play with it anyway. So that, again, is my amazing garden. This next one I saw on someone else's channel. I went back and tried to find who I saw it from, and I was not able to find it, so I'm sorry I'm not able to give you credit. If it was you, go ahead and put a link to your channel in the comment box below, and guys, make sure to check her out. All right, this is Rose Art Ultimate Artist. I love this book. This has a bunch of different images, and they're on foil pages, translucent pages, fuzzy pages, and artist pages. I bought this book mainly for the translucent pages. I had never seen anything like that before, and I'm so excited to attempt to color those. I'm going to try my alcohol markers and see how they do on those pages. And the fuzzy pages are cool too, of course. And here's the artist pages in the back. And again, I'll have uh, full flip throughs. Some of the fuzzy pages.
I love the whole mixed media of this book. I think that's just an incredible idea. I, again, I have nothing like this in my collection. Very excited about it. These are the translucent pages. So it'll look like stained glass. I can think of so many projects for these after you color them, putting them in shadow boxes and all kinds of stuff like that. I'm so excited to have the opportunity to color these. I think it's going to be really fun. And then the foil pages. And you guys know how much I love mixed media, so very excited about this book. And the last book I have is the new Color and Chicks coloring book. I'm really excited about this. I was introduced to Color and Chicks via Facebook, and I've been on their Etsy page, and I just absolutely love their images. So when I found out they came out with a book, I had to go ahead and get it. I'm going to butcher her name, and it's by Daria or Daria Gakurskoy. Again, I'm sorry if I butchered your name. And the images in here are so cute. I can't wait to color in this book. Looks like it'd be really great for practicing hair and skin tones. And again, I'll have a flip through of this on my Facebook channel. Alright guys, that is it for the book portion of this. All the rest are coloring supplies and boy do I have a lot to tell you about. Alright, I'm going to start with pencil sharpeners. The first thing I purchased was this Doll 155. Everyone had talked about the Doll 133, but that one was on back order, so I ordered this one instead. I love it. I have this Bostitch Super Glow but it plugs in, it's really heavy, and it's not portable in any way, shape, or form. I love this as well, but again, if you're going anywhere or moving around, it's not exactly portable. I wanted something that was more portable than that because I color in multiple areas. As you can tell, I've already used this one a lot, and this one is great. You would put the pencil in, and then just when you release it, the pencil will stay out, and you turn the crank and it sharpens the pencil and on the back you can choose whether you want a blunt point or a sharp point and you can turn this knob to decide uh, which type of point you want. So this is a really really great pencil sharpener if you're looking for something that's a little bit more durable than your small ones this one is great. The next thing I want to show you guys is the Tagal pencil sharpener. I have seen these on practically every coloring channel and I have used everything but these. I have gone through so many Prismacolor pencil sharpeners and they break almost immediately but it was the only ones that I felt safe sharpening my Prismacolors with. So I finally caved and bought one of these Tagals and as you can see I went and immediately bought another one. I love these so much. I thought they looked funny so <laughs> I didn't purchase them just because I was like oh they look really weird. I, I wonder why they're they're so popular, but now I know. You can select the dial on the front here and choose any point that you want. This is so important for me with like my luminance and my really expensive color pencils because I don't want the other pencil sharpeners to eat them up. I choose, you know, one of the smaller points on there. I still get a nice sharp point and I'm not eating through the pencil. And they're portable and small, so I can have one in each of my coloring areas. I have two coloring areas. I can take them with me in my little coloring bag when I go. Absolutely love these pencil sharpeners. And I believe they're between $5.99 and $7.99. I want to say I spent $7.99 for that, and then this one went on sale for $5.99, so I had to pick up another one. Highly recommend if you're looking for an inexpensive handheld pencil sharpener, these all the way. I've used 20 different kinds of pencil sharpeners, and these are the best in this price range. And if you're looking for something a little bit bigger, again, the Doll 155 is great. Two great options for pencil sharpeners there. I found so many great deals on Amazon this month and this by far is one of them. Anybody who's coloring and looking for things to highlight, this is the perfect item for you and it was only $11. That's for three Posca pens and for three Uni Signo pens. I think you can get them with the Posca pens um, a little bigger in size 
for twelve or thirteen dollars for the same set. So, but I like the smaller ones for highlighting and doing the white pupils in the eyes. So this is the perfect size for me. This is the PC 1M, and again, these are the Uniball Signos. Now, usually the Posca pens are between four and five dollars a pen. So to get three Posca pens and then the Uniball Signo on top of it for $11 was a steal. So I'll have a link in the description box below for these. The next thing I picked up is a necessity for me. Pencil extenders. Tons and tons and tons of pencil extenders. Well, not tons, but 24 pencil extenders. So this was, again, $11. I feel like I got a steal for all these pencil extenders. I have other pencil extenders that I've gotten previously, but I only have a couple of them. So every time I'm trying to switch a pencil because now my pencils are getting really small, I have to take them out of the pencil extender and put them back in. And now I don't have to do that. So this was $11 for all these pencil extenders. I have pencils of all different sizes. I wasn't sure which pencils would fit in the wooden ones here. And these aluminum ones are adjustable. So you would just put the pencil in and turn and it tightens around the pencil. This is the kind I have my Prismacolors in right now. My Prismacolors are the ones that are most likely to go down first. So I did get both kinds. I can put any size of pencil in there. Again, another great deal for $11, you get 24 pencil extenders. 12 aluminum, 12 wooden. All right, moving on to the next thing I purchased. I saw these a few months ago on someone else's channel. Again, I'm sorry, I don't remember whose. I tried to look back this morning to see if I could find it and I could not find out whose channel it was. She was in the UK, that is all I remember. So again, if it's you, make sure you put a comment in the comment box below and link your channel. I loved your craft haul. I just can't remember whose it was. I watched so many of them. But she had these Nuvo glitter markers on there. And I believe it was this blue pack that I saw her displaying. But I, as soon as I saw them, I had to go ahead and get them. They are so glittery. Here is what they look like. And I will go ahead and have a review of these on my channel soon. But I went ahead and I picked up the Moroccan Sunset, Midnight Shadows, Sugar Rush, and Northern Lights. And I figured these would be really great if I'm doing dragons or I'm doing mermaid tails anything like that I thought this would look really cool for that so I had to go ahead and pick some up so these are Nuvo glitter markers and they're incredible I love them all right for some reason my Michaels does not have red stickles and every time I'm trying to do something I'm always looking for red stickles so I saw these at Michaels it's the Studio G brand so I don't know how good this glitter glue is I guess I'm going to find out. So I picked up two things of red to give it a try. And I had a coupon, so I had to pick up some more stickles. So I believe these were on sale, plus I have rewards. And I don't think I put these in my last craft video. I hope I didn't. If I did, sorry, this is a repeat on that. I think I'm going to have to start uh, shooting little parts of the video at once so I don't get them mixed up. I don't think I put these in my previous craft video, but I did pick these up at the end of January. So a few more to add to my collection, and I was out of these. I had these before, and I'm out of this color here and low on this color. So I had to pick up another pack. I think it was if you, you bought two, you got a discount. So I wound up buying four. All right, guys, I'm having trouble putting this one on my desk because it's so large. But I've had this on my wish list for more than a year. I've actually had this on my wish list for two years, but I wanted to buy it last year. But due to the pandemic, they've been out of stock and it just came back in stock. So I had to pick them up. This has six drawers and it's great for color pencil storage. I have most of my color pencils and books, but my overflow pencils and my backup pencils, I had just sitting in little cans on the side. So I wanted something that looked a little nicer. So I went ahead and purchased this for my Overflow Prismas. And the ones that I have additional sets to or additional colors to so I can go ahead and be able to have them at my fingertips. And again, this has six drawers. So I used four drawers for my Overflow Prisma colors. And then I have two open drawers right now. I'm sorry, I have a paintbrush in that drawer. And you can stack your pencils too high in the drawer if you want to do that, or you can do it single across. But I absolutely love this, and for $37, it would be great for pastels, color pencils, gel pens, anything you want to put in there. 
I'll leave the link in the description box below for this. It's by Seven Elements. Great price, great product. Super excited to finally be able to get my hands on it. All right, the next item I picked up are this flat brush set. It's so soft, I love this. Anyway, I purchased this to be able to get the color pencil debris off my pictures. I keep smearing them into the pictures. So I wanted to go ahead and have something to be able to wipe that off with. And that's why I picked these up. I picked them up from Michael's. They're on sale right now, 50% off. All right, the next few items are going to be gel pen related. So I did a video on the color of gel pens and I said that I don't like some other types of gel pens that I've tried. And a bunch of people put some comments in the comment box letting me know what brands they like. This was one of those brands, the Zebra brand, the Doodlers. Don't shoot me guys, I don't like these. That doesn't mean you won't like these. I just don't like these. I have another brand that I purchased that I do really, really like. So I went ahead and tried these out already. A couple of things I noticed is how scratchy they are. They're not as smooth as some of the other ones that I have. And on white paper, they're okay, but on dark paper, like that, because the way the light is, is looking at it, you can see it. But when you hold your paper up, you cannot see it. You can only see it when it's directly like that. And even then for the human eye, unless I tilt it like this, you can't see it and you can't see that it's blue. It just looks like silver. So I'm not a huge fan of these, especially on dark paper, but I am a huge fan of these. I saw these featured on the Coloring Divas channel and I was like, oh, this look pretty cool. Let me go ahead and give them a try and I am in love with them. They are so smooth. They look good no matter which color paper you use. These are as smooth, in my opinion, as the Sparkle Pops. So I absolutely love them and I will go ahead and have a link in the description box below for these. I liked them so much that I saw these by the same company, the white, gold, and silver gel pens. So you get three white, three gold, and three silver in this pack. And I haven't had the opportunity to use these yet, so I'm just going to go ahead and give them a try right now. This is the gold. Very nice. And I'm only going to put the white onto the black paper here and then silver. All right. So my initial opinions, again, I just took it out of the box and tried it for the first time. They're okay. I definitely like these metallic ones better. They're definitely not, not bad gel pens in any way shape or form. They don't lay super evenly and you're kind of losing that silver on the white there. Again, I've got a thing with Sparkle Pops, so I definitely like my Sparkle Pops. So they're okay. Definitely wouldn't not recommend them. They're definitely not a bad gel pen, but if I had to choose, I would go with these first. Same company, way different feel to the pen. These feel a lot like the Sparkle Pops. And just to give you an idea, here is the white from the Divisil. I don't even know how to pronounce that. And here's the white Uniball Signo. This one is substantially brighter. So I think for my white and my silver and my gold, I'll stick with my Uniball Signos or my Impact. And the last things of gel pens that I picked up are these Ahuhu gel pens. I love their markers so much. So I wanted to go ahead and see if their gel pens were any good. These were on sale for $8. I thought that was a great deal. You get seven whites, three silver, three gold, and a couple of their other colors in there. So let's pull a couple of these out and see how they do real quick. So initially these look really good when you go ahead and lay them down on black paper, but then they kind of absorb into the paper and get less pretty. Again, if you put the, those up against the Uniball, it's not even, it's no contest there. Again, not bad especially for a budget gel pen. Let's try some of the other colors real quick. Here's the gold, the silver, and we'll try a pink. So they're definitely smooth and I like that, but on the black paper specifically, they look really great. At least like the, the pink does. It's really bright, but they do kind of absorb into the paper. So they come out much brighter when you first color with them. They're definitely not bad gel pens at all. I would give them maybe a five or six out of 10. I definitely like them a lot better than the Zebra Doodlers. 
at least you can see them on dark paper. I know this video is really long guys, I still have plenty more to go. Alright guys, the next item I purchased were these Lyra Aqua Colors. I don't think I had them in my previous haul video, I don't think I had them in yet. I did have the opportunity to use these in an image that I was working on last week. And again, this is going to be another don't shoot me. I'm not really sure how to use these, so we're going to start there. I used them how I think you're supposed to use them, and I did not like them in any way, shape, or form. When I colored directly on the paper and tried to smooth it out, you can see all the lines that I used when I had colored them in, specifically one of the blues. You can see every line, so I feel like I ruined an image I had worked really hard on using these. That said, I may just not know how to use them, so my personal opinion, didn't love them. These are the, the Lyra Aqua Colors. If you have a suggestion on how to avoid that, I would love to hear it, so drop a comment in the comment box below and let me know what you guys think of these and how you use them where you don't get the lines from where you initially colored in them. When I was at Michael's, these 15 Neo Color 2s were on clearance for under $20, so I went ahead and picked some up, and I have not had the opportunity to try them yet. I just picked them up earlier today, so I wanted to make sure that I included them in the craft video. Again, they were on clearance at Michael's, so if you're anywhere near one, I would pick them up because that's a great price for 15 Neo Colors. And I hope that they don't do what the Liras did. Again, I'm not really great on using these. I don't really know how yet, so it's a work in progress. These were also on clearance at Michael's, so you can check for these when you're there. These are Winsor & Newton metallic markers. All the Winsor & Newton colored pencils are also on clearance. I didn't pick any of those up, but it seems like this whole line is on clearance. There was also a couple of the Derwent items were on clearance. They had the ink tents that were on clearance for $20 a tin. I didn't pick any of those up because I already have plenty and they were out at my particular Michaels. So I'll go ahead and open one up and try it out. So it looks like you have a bullet nib. Ooh, bullet nib on both sides. That's kind of cool, except one's bigger than the other. Nice even coverage. I definitely like those. So goodbye. Again, on clearance right now at Michael's. And I finally got my Inktense Paint Pan 24 set in from Blick Art. I ordered these back in October and they just came in at the end of January. I did use them. I love these guys. These are awesome. So if you're into watercolor or any kind of ink tents, pick these up. Well worth it. Incredible product. Alright guys, on to my paints. I picked up another bottle of this Craftsmart matte paint for backgrounds. I get the mattes so you can color over top of them with colored pencils. Every other brand at Michaels was sold out. This was the only one I was able to get that was in matte. So I went ahead and picked up a bottle of this and I picked up a couple of these small black canvases so I could play around with my next item. Alright, this item is another item that has been on my wish list for a really long time. I almost did not buy it because I am really mad at Arteza right now for their color pencil fiasco that they have going on. If you don't know much about that, just look it up on YouTube. But I almost didn't buy them because I don't trust the brand anymore, but I had already ordered these when that came out. They just hadn't come in yet. So I'm excited about giving these a try. These are the 36 metallic colors, and I got these to use as the backgrounds for some of my coloring images. I will be doing a swatch and a video on these. So that's all the colors that come in it. They were on sale. There's trays and trays and trays of these. And I will try to give you an idea on what they look like. They're highly pigmented and they are metallic. You see the shine guys? It's so incredible. So these have been on my wish list for more than a year. My husband picked them up for me for Valentine's Day, along with a few of the other things featured in this haul. So look for a video on these soon. Alright everyone, I'm at my favorite part of this haul, the colored pencils. The first things I got were these Zebra Sensation color pencils. I got them today because they were on clearance for 10 bucks at Michael's. So I figured I would give them a try and see if I like them. I've never tried to color with a mechanical pencil. I believe that's basically what this is. And I figured, why not? 
So I'll be doing another video about these soon. We'll swatch them out together. So be looking for those. All right, guys, so this next item here I saw on the Coloring Divas channel. I had never seen them before. I did not know they were coming out, and she was able to get her hands on some and shot a video of it, and I had to wait for them to come back in stock before I could order them, and they just came in today. So I have not had an opportunity to use them yet, but these are the new Derwent Chroma Flows. 24 is the largest size pack they have in these pencils right now. I'm super excited to give these a try. They're supposed to be very vibrant and creamy, so I'm hoping they're a lot like the Prisma colors. There's, there's 24 pencils in here. I will be doing a review on these. I'm not gonna open them right now. There are some Derwent pencils that I absolutely love, like my Inktense. I love my Inktense by Derwent, but I have their metallic pencils and I don't really care for those. That said, I haven't tried them out since I've been coloring for a long period of time, but I remember I didn't like them. But again, the Derwent Inktense, I have every single one of those. So I'm really hoping that I love these Chroma Flows. So they are available now. They just came out today, and I'll have a link in the description box below. Now, I had a separate video on these deli pencils when they came in, and I took them out of the tin, so they're not in here right now, and put them in my pencil box. I absolutely love these deli pencils, so much so that I bought a second pack of them as backup pencils, but they're not in yet. I won't be getting those for another week and a half or two weeks, but I ordered them as soon as they came back up. I will have a link in the description box below for a budget pencil. These are incredible. If you look up here in the corner, I'll go ahead and have a link to the video where I talk about these pencils. Because I love these pencils so much, the same company had the 120 pack of Star Joys, and I wasn't sure if they were the same pencil as the Delis, as these, so I went ahead and picked up the 120 pack, and they finally came in. Go ahead and show you. The price for these is the same price for the Deli pencils, but you get 120 pencils. The color range is awesome. The pencil barrels are a little bit thinner, and all the numbers are different than the numbers that are in the delis. I only used one pencil real quick, I think it was the shallow one, to try it out and see what I thought about it compared to the deli pencils, and they do not color the same. I'm gonna be doing another review on these, comparing these to the deli pencils, I just haven't had a chance to do it yet. So I did pick these up for that purpose because I wanted to see if it was the same or colored the same as the deli pencils. So now I'm just wondering if the end result is gonna be the same as the deli pencils or if I have to work a little harder. But the color range on these are incredible and for $30 for 120 pencils is not a bad price in any way, shape, or form. And with the Deli pencils, they're the same price. They're $28.99 and you get 72, but they're very much like polychromos. I actually think they have a creamier lay down than the polychromos do. So I absolutely love the Deli pencils verdict's still out on these. I don't think they're bad pencils, I just prefer the Deli ones over these. So look for a video on these coming soon too. All right everyone, thank you for sticking around till the end. I do have a few more items coming, but they're not in yet. I have um, a small haul coming from Blick Arts, and I have five more books that are on pre-order or ordered and are ready to come in. So as soon as those come in, I'll shoot another haul video. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy, Color happy, and remember, shh, it's our little secret.